The entertainment industry with social media and everything is kind of a weird place because you have all of these flash in the pan, one hit wonder, novelty acts. The first thing that ever hit me about Sophie, this girl is not a novelty act. Hi, my name is Stacy Carter and I am Sophie's manager. I'm actually half of the management team of Bartlett Carter Talent. Here she is making her first EP at almost seven years old. Sophie is just incredible and never ceases to amaze us. Yeah, we're going to run it down and get from the top. We got it. <laughs> hey, Vicki. Hey, Sophie. Hey Rob. So today I wanted to get together, the four of us, and talk a little bit about some of the origin story, the background of creating this project. Although we had a lot of film of Sophie in the studio, really haven't had a chance to hear her talk about the experience. So Sophie, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Tell me what it was like to be in the studio that day. If you remember walking into Capitol Studios, seeing those pictures, walking down the hallway. When I first came in, I saw saw like Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra. And you saw like, it was Ella Fitzgerald too. Oh yeah, and like oh Ella gosh, so many. So many good singers like, wow, and I'm gonna be there too. That's Dean Martin. It was amazing. Wow. That was awesome. What was it like to actually meet some of those musicians and talk to guys that had played with Frank Sinatra? I felt like Yay! I don't even know how to explain because I was like so happy. It was good. They were pretty, some of them were actually pretty funny too. Bunch of great guys. Everybody had a great time with you. But the trombone, you need to stay away from the trombone. It's scary sometimes. Happy three times. You gonna be singing some for us today? Yeah. Right on. What are you gonna sing? <laughs> so Rob, Vicky, and I met you through Mary, who works with me. It was very important for us to find the right people that not only just got what we were trying to do, but it was comfortable and it was safe. Again, we're talking about Sophie, and we needed to create a, a very safe and comfortable family environment about it. And so you fit in very perfectly, but tell us a little bit more about your back history. I've been out in Los Angeles now for a number of years. From an early time, like going back to my early high school days, I mean, jazz has always been my first love. It's the thing that initially attracted me to pursuing music, Miles Davis and listening to uh, Dizzy Gillespie, John Coltrane, Wynton Marsalis. That music spoke to me. I studied classical music. I've done string quartet arrangements and arrangements for orchestra. When I was in Philly, I played in various bands and wrote songs for bands. Just recently, I scored an animated short for the film and visual effects company, DNEG to thank the healthcare workers. Put the clip down at the beginning, and yeah, then just take it out once we get going. I've seen you perform in a number of different places. Tell me a little bit about the feeling you get. I've seen you sing uh, Ain't That a Kick in the Head at karaoke a number of times, and you just, you seem to just possess that song. What is it about that song that really gets you going? Well, mostly it's because it's one of my favorite songs. I like it's like jazzy, it's swinging. It's a cool jazz. It's, it's really like, happy. Yeah. It's happy like you. It's really good music and it's a really good song and cool. One of the things that was very interesting to me, the first time I actually heard you singing Feeling Good, it was really chilling because it's very emotional. You had that cold opening where it's a cappella and you really brought the house down. Tell me a little bit about your favorite artist that sings that song and, and why you like that song in particular. Well, mostly all the songs I like. Who sings Feeling Good? Who Michael sings Feeling Bublé. Good that's one of your favorite? <laughs> what do you like about Michael Bublé? I like his song. He's like really, really cool. I like his jazz. He sings blues and he sings really good. Uh, yeah. What do you like about High Hopes? You really crushed that one. That was uh, that had a lot of feeling. What was your favorite part of that song? When I first heard it, it sounded like a kid's song. And I I did not sing kid's songs. Well, I kind of am a kid, but I did not sing kid's songs. Immediately people, yeah. people said, oh, she, since she sings Sinatra, she needs to sing High Hopes because that logically that's the only kid song he has right she didn't she didn't 
dig it, let's put it that way as well. And that kind of played into our approach to the arrangement, but I think it really turned into a fantastic version, something completely unique. And Rob, we kind of talked about that when we were discussing the project, because I think really when I pitched it to you, there was some initial hesitancy because it was a record for a six-year-old girl. When I first heard about it, I wasn't sure about it because I wasn't really interested in working on a children's record or, or a novelty record. But after you had explained to me that you were looking to really craft a big band jazz record, something that had a mature, polished big sound, something that swung hard and had complex arrangements, I was really sold at that point. Then when you hear Sophie sing, hear how much maturity her voice has, it really changed the scope of what the project would be to me. I didn't think about it from that point on as a children's record. I just thought, well, we're making a big band jazz record. We're going to make this project as artistically satisfying as we can. I totally see how when somebody hears, a professional hears, like, let's make a record, and by the way, the artist is six, and you are dealing with jazz, you're like, really? Yeah. Go pop! What we did with High Hopes, was it a kid song? No, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry, it wasn't. <laughs> As I said before, when I told people I was doing this project, people thought I was kind of crazy. Once people meet Sophie and they see how authentic she is and see how real she is, anybody that's met Sophie never said that, never brought it up. It was yeah. always people outside yeah. of the project. Yeah, it goes out of the picture immediately. Like the, the minute you actually meet her, before she even starts singing, you kind of, you immediately switch. That switch goes and, okay, this is an artist that's not a kid. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Okay. We heard that with the cookies. I like it. 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 I Because I, I mean, or maybe that's a mix. They, thing. they got the point. They got the point. Like it's okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. No, no, no. If you're good, we got to move on. That's so why that's I, yeah, I, I changed the melody. Also, at the end.